Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, uh, this video is all about rock climbers because we've got an absolute ton of rock uh, to get over in the next few months. So I thought I'd just get straight into it right away. So I've started with um, rocker bogey style, you know, like uh, the Curiosity Rover and the Mars Rovers, etc. And uh, to prototype that, I built this tiny little one first. Uh, using scaling and using the skins which I'm just starting to get into. I like that this modern day one it's called uh, I'll put a, a link in the description for it um, and I'm trying to show you how to do the skins or tell you how to do the skins in a bit but basically the idea was this to get a little rocker bogey uh, rock climber or rock crawler up using a differential gear in the middle. The differential gear is important because it's it allows all six wheels to stay on the ground at the same time, which it didn't do there, but this was a prototype. But it is there sort of thing. But you'll see it doing it much more effectively just shortly when we get up to the one that you've seen at the start there. So um, it's an ongoing process. Uh, now what I did here was I put some more braces on it, tightened it all up, put a bit of a body on it and tried to give it some, make it a bit more substantial before going to the bigger model, you know, for going into the mountains with, to iron out some of the problems at least and uh, yeah, it worked okay. Um, again, really taking with these skins, you know, I can imagine what's going to be ahead for his skins wise. So this was another prototype version. The wheels kept kicking up, so, so I put on a big body and I put on guards to stop the wheels kicking up. And I just let it loose on some of the really rough parts um, of the mountain just to see how it got on. And it did surprisingly well, as you can see. It's, it's, it's coping with gullies and really sharp turns and, and uh, climbs and everything. Doesn't quite make this. Um, I don't think. I, I don't think any of my machines that I actually ended up making could take anything as high as that, as you'll see. So this is the one we're going to concentrate on. Uh, this is it paired back and it's strengthened. Apart from the middle with the actual differential gear, is I forgot to strengthen that there, and that gives me problems later on that I didn't actually address. But there you go. You can see the rocker buggy working like a dream now because of the differential. Uh, the two sets of wheels are just doing their own thing and it keeps the body in the middle or what would be the body in the middle uh, a level a sort of level pegging between the two states so it's really clever and it's really simple as well um, there you go I just made it up this one and no more but, uh, and put on some nice cameras so we've got some nice views with this one too it looks great I love that skin I like that weathered white paint look <laughs> it's just brilliant uh, so I made it down the other side, but I made it down too quick, and I crashed and I died. But I, again, lots of lots of views to demonstrate just what it's capable of. That's what we're going to see. That differential slip moving about over there, the gears, no good. When we were heading up towards the top, I mean, I had to pick it up sometimes and just drop it somewhere to try different gradients and different rocks because this is, like, I'm just trying to find things out what works and what doesn't. For instance, I discovered that. Um, Changing the wheel speeds from the front to the back means the front pulls more and the back doesn't try to hurry it up. It uh, helps a little bit as long as it's not too big a difference. This is just a little taster. I actually did build a more sophisticated one after the one you're seeing just now. And it was the intention of making it into a tutorial. But the files were too big. It went on forever and I didn't have time to edit it. So I thought I'd just drop one in anyway and see if anybody is actually even interested in me doing a, a tutorial for um, rocker bogies and rock crawlers. Let me know if you are or not and I will, um, I'll see if I can put something together because I have all the files. Ready. Okay, Easter egg time. Um, I've noticed I'm not the only person that spotted this. There you go, that's me cheating again and just bringing the crawler up to very near the summit of the highest one so that we can test it up here. And I discovered this little sole tent and what happens is, is it stays intact until you hit simulation and then it collapses. Why it does that, I don't know. <laughs> There's a reason for it. I don't know, but it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I do like finding stuff like that. I hope there's more things to find. Um, so I just went over and ran over it. I hope there wasn't anybody sleeping in it. Total monster. Yeah, nice look at those wheels there. So yeah, it's, it's quite a rough model. It's not, it's not like a finished thing, like a proper um, Explorer or anything like that, a Space Explorer. But get, getting the technique for it down. And there we go. We're just about to go through that pass there is at the highest point. And from there on, it's downhill. Um, again, quite rapidly downhill. But I survived most of it this time. Uh, I love that camera angle. I just love it. Uh, I say I survived most of it. I don't mean all of it. 
so yeah, that's the problem. Is um, I've got a whole host of things that I need to try and solve now. So I'm going to be definitely building more rock crawlers. That's going to be a feature of the channel for the next um, few weeks. Okay, so I'll leave you with this, and this is this is my best run, and I'll just I'll cue in some music for now. And um, I, I meant to do cover the skins thing, but I didn't get uh, the chance to do it. I'll do it in the next video. Plus, I will do a tutorial on. Uh, return to centre steering and more suspension. But I'll just leave you with some music and I'll catch you later guys. Cheers. Bye.